The House Divided speech is uh, without a doubt the most important in Lincoln's career up until that point. Uh, it was in many ways a distillation of his thinking about the issue of slavery and the direction in which the American Union was headed. It was a, an acceptance speech. It was a campaign speech. Uh, Lincoln had uh, been nominated by the Republicans of Illinois to run for the United States Senate against Stephen A. Douglas, his old rival. Uh, and on June 16th, 1858, in uh, the old state capitol in Springfield, where the nomination had taken place, he appeared that evening to accept the nomination. Lincoln's friends, who had been tipped off in advance to the contents of his speech, tried to talk him out of giving it. They told him it was too radical, that it would cost him his chance at defeating Douglas. What was so radical about the speech is what we all remember about the speech, the use of the biblical phrase, the house divided, from the book of Matthew. He was arguing that either slavery would be put on the road to extinction, which is what he and other moderate Republicans favored, or it would extend to the entire country. That's what was at stake by the late 1850s, and that is what ultimately, in 1861, led to fraternal warfare. It was certainly morally courageous for Lincoln to say out loud what perhaps many Americans privately thought, but very few wanted to confront. The speech became in many ways a credo, a rallying cry almost. He may have lost a race for the Senate in Illinois, but he gained almost overnight a national reputation. If you look at all of Lincoln's great state papers, all of his great addresses as president, his genius at communicating moral truths, right up to the second inaugural. All of that is foreshadowed in the House Divided speech with its biblical overtones and its sense of a higher power coming to play in what otherwise would be an ordinary political dispute. It's a kind of opening act for the Lincoln presidency.